Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another video on Proteus Simulation by Robotics and Circuit Team Manipal. We hope you have gone through the basics of Proteus tools from last video and are well versed with them. Today we will learn to simulate an Arduino and later on in this video we will build our own obstacle avoidance board. Arduino is an easy to use open source electronics platform based on hardware and software. Born at IVRA Interaction Design Institute, it was designed to help students without any background in electronics and programming. The Arduino software is easy enough for beginners yet it is flexible enough for advanced users. The relatively inexpensive Arduino is used to give various commands depending on the received input, thus acting as a brain to countless projects made so far. So now let's start with a simple Arduino project which is blinking of LED. First of all, let's see the circuit diagram of the project. In this project, we will take a 220 ohm resistor, a LED and an Arduino board. Cathode of the LED is connected to the ground and the anode is connected to the D13 pin of the Arduino through a resistor. So now let's go to the Proteus and start making our project. First of all, we will take, we will take the Arduino Uno R3 board, a resistor and a yellow LED. First of all, we will connect the cathode of the LED to the ground. So we will take the ground and connect it to the cathode. Then we will connect the resistor to the LED and then connect the other part of the resistor to the D13 pin of the Arduino. Then we will change the resistance of the resistor by right clicking on it, edit properties and changing the resistance to 220 ohms. Now we are done with the construction of the circuit. The code has been already written and in order to upload it to the Proteus, we will copy the hex file. Go to the Proteus simulation, right click on the Arduino board, edit properties and then paste the path of the hex file in the program file. Then press OK. Now we will hit on the simulation button. As you can see, the blinking of the LED has started and now it's blinking. It's blinking after every one second. Now that we know how to use an Arduino in Proteus, we will start constructing our obstacle avoidance board. Almost all mobile navigation systems make use of such boards. They prove to be a considerable boon where human reach can prove to be fatal. First of all, we will take a Arduino Uno R3 board and paste it in the workspace. We would require sensors to detect the distance between the board and the obstacle. The ultrasonic sensors measure the space between a barrier and the board by emission of ultrasonic waves and convert the reflected wave into electrical signals. We will use HCSR04 ultrasonic sensors for our project. The ultrasonic sensor consists of four pins, VCC, trigger, echo and ground. The sensors output a sound wave from a speaker which reflect, reflects off an obstacle and gets received by the sensor's microphone. The sensor will measure the time required for the reflected wave to get back to the ultrasonic sensor. We can easily calculate the distance between the bot and obstacle since we know the time needed for the ultrasonic wave to be received and the speed of the sound is approximately 343 meters per second. Now we will take the ground and the power terminals and paste it in the workspace. Now we will join them with the ultrasonic sensor. As we require three ultrasonic sensors for our project, we will copy it, copy to clipboard and then again right click and paste from the clipboard and paste it and paste it again for the third time. Now the trigger pin of the first ultrasonic sensor will go to the 10 of the Arduino board and the echo pin of the first ultrasonic sensor will go to the D13 pin of the Arduino board. Similarly, we will join trigger and echo pin of ultrasonic sensor 2 to pin 9 and pin 8 of the Arduino respectively. And for the ultrasonic sensor 3, we will join the trigger pin and echo pin to the pin 7 and pin 6 of the Arduino board. 
Now that we have set up our ultrasonic sensors, we will require motor drivers to drive the motors accordingly. L293D is a motor driver IC that is capable of providing bidirectional drive current to, to two DC motors. L293D motor driver IC works on half edge bridge principle which lets the IC run the DC motors in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. It has two input and output pins for a single DC motor resulting in four input and output pins for driving two DC motors in the IC. There is also an enable pin to select the required DC motors to operate. We will be using a total of two L293D motor driver ICs to drive for the DC motors. We will take L293D from the devices and paste it in the workspace. We will select the L293D motor driver, right click and rotate it 180 degrees. Then we will take two DC motors and paste it in the workspace. Now we will join the ends of the DC motors to the output of the L293D motor driver IC. Once the connections are done, we will now take the ground from the terminal and the power from the terminal. Now join the ground to the ground terminal. Now short VS and VSS are the power pins and we need to short them and join it to the power terminal. Once this is done, we will short int uh, input 1 and 4 and input 2 and 3. And we will also short enable 1 and enable 2. Once this is done, we will take the uh, input 1 and input 4 to pin number 2 of the Arduino. Similarly, we will join input 2 and input 3 to the pin number 3 of the Arduino, enable 1 and enable 2 to the pin number 11 of the Arduino board. Now we will copy paste the entire motor driver circuit and paste it on the clipboard. We will rotate it along the x-axis in order to make it more clear. Now we will join the input 4 and input 1 of the second motor driver to the pin number 4 of the Arduino board. And the pin number 2 and pin number 3 to the pin number 5 of the Arduino board. And again the pin number 1 and pin enable 1 and enable 2 to the pin number 11 of the Arduino board. So this completes uh, the motor driver circuit of the our optical avoidance board. We will also need to add a serial monitor to the circuit. The serial monitor helps to keep track of the parameter values at each instance. It helps to give instructions to the system and gets output to the screen. The RX of the serial monitor is attached to the TX of the Arduino that is pin number 1 and the RXD of the Arduino board is attached to the TXD of the serial monitor. This completes our circuit of the obstacle avoidance board. Now that we have completed the construction part, it's time to add the Arduino code. The code is already been written by us. Now we will copy the path of the hex file and put it in the Arduino in the Proteus. We will go to edit properties and put it in the program files of the Arduino and press OK. Now we are done with the obstacle avoidance board. So now as we are done with everything, let's start the simulation by hitting the run simulation button. We got the virtual terminal which is the serial monitor. We got the distance of the object from each of the sensor and the command in which the bot moves and the motors move accordingly. So when we increase or decrease the distance of the object from the ultrasonic sensor, the, the, uh, the, uh, the distance changes and the command also changes and the bot moves accordingly. This is how the obstacle avoidance bot works.